Peter Arnold is a Luton car worker, but the Arnold's garage doesn't house the family saloon. That's reserved for a much larger version of the internal combustion engine. Peter Arnold, Biggles to his friends, is building an aeroplane in his garage. A Vickers Supermarine Seafire F Mark 46 serial number LA564. One of only two dozen built in the mid-40s. It's the culmination of a five-year search for spare parts from museums, stores and crash sites all over the world. And with a little help from his friends and the wife, Peter's project is beginning to get off the ground. About 23,000 Spitfires, the fighter plane that won the Battle of Britain, were built, but only about 150 are still in existence. It's a case of shopping and swapping to get the right parts. Today, Peter is swapping a Barracuda undercarriage leg for a tail fin of a Mark 22 Spitfire. It's just what he's been looking for. Lovely job. That's the 608 squadron bag, isn't it? it certainly is, yes. Oh, marvellous. Thanks, Ken, that's super, thank you. Shall we put it on? Yeah, let's have a look. fits. But how do you know where they all fit? Well, frankly, I don't. Not yet, anyway, but I'm hoping to find out. How do you set about finding out? Well, um, at this day and age, the manuals on this engine are still a restricted item from the Ministry, but I guess there are ways and means around that. Friends at Rolls-Royce, I'd hope. How did you get all these bits and pieces together in the first place? Well, I've been collecting bits now for, I guess, about five years. Um, just this last three weeks, they've all come together in one bit in the garage. So this is, this is your own, first own Spitfire, is it? Well, certainly, but it's, this is the first time it's all come together. I've owned bits of pieces, I've had bits on joint ownership, but as of about three weeks ago, it all belongs to me. How does that make you feel? Very, very happy and very, very satisfied. What are you actually going to do with it when you've put it all together? Well, it's a very long job, as you can see, to get it into something like uh, museum shape, but... Um, I guess in the next two or three years, I'm hoping to get it into Newark Air Museum up in Nottinghamshire. But, I mean, what's going to happen? I mean, every day you're going to come along and get it out and start putting it together, and then every night you've got to put it back again? No, I think we'd have the, the price of the houses dropping dramatically if we did that. No, what I'm going to do, um, the garage is about 18 foot long and the main fuselage is just under 18 foot. Um, I can happily work on it at night when there's a bit of free time. And the engine, well, that can go in storage until I'm ready to pick it up. It must take up an awful lot of your spare time. It's taken up a lot of spare time over these last few weeks, but really it's just an ordinary hobby, just like collecting stamps, only I collect bits of Spitfire. What exactly is this here? Now, that's the, we've got the cockpit down there. Well, What's this area here, here is where all the fuel goes. There's um, a self-sealing fuel tank that goes in there, and a top fuel tank here, and an oil tank here, and a nice shiny cover goes over the top. Shiny cover to cover up all this rust? Oh, no, no, that's not really rust, you know. That'll all come off with a wire brush and a bit of chromate paint. Looks like an awful lot of elbow grease needed in there. It certainly is, but it's a lot of fun. And that's the actual helmet they, they wore, is it? That's the one, yeah. The real McCoy, as they say. I mean, that, would that have been worn by a, by a Spitfire pilot? Well, maybe, but that or one very similar to it, in fact, yeah. These are the genuine Mark 8 goggles that are so hard to come by. Would you, would you like to put it on? I wouldn't, but I will for you, I guess. What did they call them? Did they have a nickname? Well, you know, the Americans call them Snoopy Gear. It's the sort of thing, that American cartoon character, and I guess it's caught on. Everybody calls it the Snoopy Gear. I'm sure it's going to suit you beautifully. Well, we'll see. Go on, goggles on. OK. That looks beautiful. 